Hey guys, it's Leon here and welcome to this team game, which I call a game of unpredictability. The first thing you're going to do then is you notice there are seven markers here. I want you to write these equations on the inside of each marker so players can't see. Okay, so minus 10, you write that underneath the marker times three plus 30 uh, and so on. Okay, so what I want you to do then is split the group into teams of two, okay? Once you've done that, show the group a set exercise. So let's take burpees, okay? Now, players are going to complete as many burpees as they can in 90 seconds, okay? Once the 90 seconds is over, uh, teams are going to add up the scores. So obviously there are two players in each team. So let's say one player gets 30 and another player gets 20. That's going to be a total team score of 50 points okay now once each team has added up the scores you're going to ask each team to stand behind a marker okay it's up to them which marker they stand behind but just remember they have no idea what is behind um what is underneath each marker so let's take this team here so let's say this team stands behind this marker okay and this team okay. stands behind. It doesn't let's it doesn't really matter about it doesn't matter. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. There we go. Here we go. Okay, so we've put the teams, they've decided that they're gonna stand behind these markers. No, all that's gonna happen now is each team is gonna add the equation to the score. So as we mentioned before, this team here on the right, they scored 50 repetitions between them, okay? So now teams reveal the cone or the marker that they stood behind. And as you can see, this team here reveal times two. So this team, what they're gonna do is they're gonna times the score by two. So if they times 50 by two, then this team is gonna have a score of 100. Let's say this team here, let's say their total score was, let's say, 60. They're going to add 20 to their score, so then that brings them up to a total of 80 points. Okay, let's take this team on the left here. Let's say they also score 50 points, okay. Now, they're stood behind the marker that says minus 10, so they've got a minus 10, rep uh, they've got a minus 10, off the score. So with the minus 10 or 50, they're left with 40. Okay. Once each team has done this, then they're going to be left with a final score. All right. Now, the team obviously with the highest score is going to be the winning team. Okay. Now, the players, both players in the winning team, you're going to give them each a point. Okay. That was round number one. All you're going to do is, in row number two, you're going to ask players to choose a different partner, and you're going to play round two in the same way. Round three, you're going to do the exact same, get players to change partners, and the entire time during the challenge, players are just accumulating points, aren't they? Because obviously, the team that win, they get one point each, okay? I would recommend playing maybe, let's say, six to seven games, just kind of like gauge um, how your group feel, you know, maybe six to eight games because they're quite quick games. So if each game takes, if each round is 90 seconds and you play eight games, that's going to be eight, nine, 10, 11. That's going to be a good 12 minute workout. Okay. Or should I say maybe, um, maybe a warm up, maybe, maybe use it after you've had your warm up, then maybe this can be the next drill. Okay. Or you can use it as a finisher drill. Now these equations here, I've just put random equations in. Uh, there are seven equations. You can put more equations in. Uh, you can, I, I mean, I've not had a divide. So you could have like, let's say, divide by two, and then that's your score. So 50 divided by two will be 25. So as you can see with this game, the reason why I, I, the reason why I love this the most is because it doesn't matter how fit you are. Anybody, any team can win. Okay, any team can win.
Um, so there you go. That's a game of unpredictability because again, it's it's impossible to know who's going to win. At the end of you, at the end of eight rounds, uh, you can have a show of hands, uh, and you're looking for the top three people who have accumulated the most points. And those three people, uh, or should I say, yeah, so those three people, maybe you can get them to pick a little forfeit for the rest of the group. It's absolutely up to you, okay? Now, this is my version on this workout. I'd absolutely love to hear your version. So if you're looking at this right now thinking, ah, do you know what, Leon? I could probably, I can make this workout better by doing this. Or I, this is the version that I would put on it. Then get in touch at uniquebootcampworkouts at gmail.com. Let me know your variation if uh, if you have one. Okay, right. That's it from me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the workout. And I will uh, look forward to creating more workouts for you. Cool. Okay, that's it for me. Goodbye.